you my friends, it's your old pal Jordan the Lion. How are you all doing today? I hope you said great. I'm doing great. We are in Chicago today and we are having a little bit of a meetup. Originally we were going to have it at Pizza Boy of Chicago, but I started thinking, you know, I don't know how many people will show up and I know he's going to have other customers. So I told him, hey, why don't I do it at the Leaning Tower of Niles? And he said, okay, well, I'll just bring Pete's over there. And I said, no, 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 we'll come to you after. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna actually have a meetup at the Leaning Tower in Niles from two to three. And then he's expecting us to come over there at three o'clock. So this should be a great day. I'm looking forward to seeing some of my friends. Days with Jordan the Lion, it begins right now. How's Chicago treating you so far, Ja? Huh, are you enjoying it? Always a happy guy. We can't take you with us today, buddy, because we have a two-part to the meetup. I know, everybody would love to meet you, but it's just a little too risky with you being such a treasured item. Something I decided to do for this meetup that I hadn't done before, I never really bring anything for anybody, and I thought, you know, this might be, eh, might be the last time I do one of these. It might be fun to bring some pictures that I could sign for people if they wanted, and, um, you know, just a, some of my favorite moments since I've been doing this channel. A little free gift. I did one with me with Kiss, and one with me and Ric Flair, and me holding the big gold belt, if anybody wants them. Oh, we're definitely in Rosemont. Old school Dairy Queen alert. Home of the cone with the curl on top, it says. God, I loved Dairy Queen when I was a kid. Oh, I just missed it. It was just chiming. Oh, look at that. All right, take a look at this. I actually saw the real one. Of course, when I was in Pisa. Oh boy, we have some people here to say hi. Hello. How is everyone? Hi, good to see you. You're going to be on the vlog, by the way. <laughs> Came a little early. Nice to see you all. Yeah, Hello. I've been waiting for you. Awesome. This is Mary. Hi. Nice Where to meet you, Mary. Where'd you guys come from? Uh, we just we're live uh, nearby, so Skokie and Morton Grove. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Yeah. This is a great job here. I mean, this is this is something you will do a great job because you do a lot of research, I yeah. know. Well, uh, somebody in the parking lot was just telling me this used to be called the Leaning Tower of YMCA <laughs> and that he used to go to camp here. Yeah, here's the YMCA behind you. Look at that. Yeah, and the YMCA is actually right there. Gotcha. What a place. <laughs> this is half the size of the actual Pisa, but the actual Pisa when you're there, it's not that big either. So, mm -hmm. oh, this is beautiful. Oh, we love your trip overseas. That was wonderful. Oh, thank you so much. We watch, we watch all your videos. Oh, all the time, yeah. Yeah. All your videos. Oh, hi, Charlie. John's hanging out at the hotel right now because we're going to have pizza afterward. Oh, you're adorable, Charlie. Thanks for coming to meet me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He likes everybody. You said you used to come here. Talk about this old tower here. Well. I was 10 years old. My parents, it was the Leaning Tower YMCA back in 1974, and we used to go eat lunch right over there. Could you go in the tower back then? I don't open. think you can go in the tower then, even. Maybe oh, really? On certain days, maybe. I was wondering, I would that love to. It's 500 years old, and it's from Italy. It used to be open. That's amazing. Yeah, Just yeah, as we I were pulling up, I heard it going off. We did, yeah. I can't remember. I'm from this area, I grew yeah. up around here. How's your grandfather doing? He's great. He's great, staying out of trouble. And I said, I said when I left, stay out of trouble. He said, but when I get in trouble, that's the only time I have something to do. So we, we love him. He t I'll tell you guys a funny story. He walked, went out for a walk the other day, and he comes back from the walk. He said, I must be looking pretty rough. I said, why? He said, because I went out for a walk and I stopped at that church over there to sit down and listen to the birds, and some lady pulled up and asked if I needed help. <laughs> said, oh, she probably thought maybe you don't remember where you live anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, what people didn't see was Linda is one of my longest Patreons and I decided to surprise her. I was in her town vlogging and just popped over and she happened to be home. So it was very nice of her to not freak out. <laughs> I was a little freaked. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes, yeah, it was wonderful though. It was, it was wonderful. I believe it's, it's from Italy. It's from 500 years ago. Wow. You almost wonder if he just built the tower to have somewhere to put that awesome bell. Right, exactly, yeah. People do crazy stuff like that. Look at this. This is really cool. Plus, you know, there are a lot of people that either are afraid to fly or never gonna make it to Europe, so it's nice for them to be able to take the photo too. Wow. You can see, wow, so well done. Hello. You, oh, you got your Cubs jersey on. I'm going to a Cubs game tomorrow. Are you? I am. Lucky you. Nice to meet you. What'd you say your name is, sir? Jeff. Nice to meet you, Jeff. Yeah, same here. How long you been watching me? Uh, forever. That's awesome. Is this your first time to the tower? No. I, fi I figured not. I'm, I figured a lot of locals have been. They used to have a Michael Kirby skating rink over here in Park Ridge. Oh, cool. Skate there. We learned how to skate. Nice. Thanks for coming out and meeting me today. We'll have to do it. We're working our way through. Wow, a lot more people showed up than I thought. That is really hard to vlog when you have people wanting to talk to you and signing pictures and stuff. So I don't know if we'll have much of a vlog out of all of this. We're headed off to Pizza Boy, have some pizza with our friends. All right, let's have some Pizza Boy. The question is, what the heck are we gonna have today? Oh my gosh, macaroni and cheese pizza. This might have to be cheat day. We've all got our pizza. I had I had to try it. I had to try this mac and cheese. I know I shouldn't, but when I saw it, I had to. Sean came. I'd say we've had a pretty good day. So I didn't get too much footage at the meetup, and we have a little bit of time left. So I'm gonna go up to Highland Park, and there's some John Hughes filming location stuff I want to check out. And I had to grab this guy. Everybody was asking about him. Wanted to know how he's doing. And my grandpa. So actually our first stop is in Glencoe and then we're going to Highland Park. My bad. All right, we made it to Glencoe Union Church. This is our ending scene for, well, pretty much our ending scene for 16 Candles. Molly Ringwald. What a night they had. <laughs> the donger, Jake, all of them the night before. And it's the big wedding and we see Molly Ringwald standing right up here, coming out of these doors. The doors are open right after the wedding ceremony. And then she looks out here and she sees as the, well, first she kind of looks depressed and then as all the cars start going away, she sees Jake in his car, the red car over there. She gets a big smile and he starts coming up towards her and they end up meeting up right here where that is. He tells her that he came here to see her and she's like, to see me? He's like, yeah, you. <laughs> and he wants to know if he can See her later after the reception. Sure. I mean, no. He goes, no? She says, no, I mean, I'm not going to the reception. So they end up walking off to his car right over here. So we see her dad helping his parents, the grandparents into the car right here, because you can see those in the background. And then he looks over and sees her with Jake and they're right there getting into his car. So there's the church. She walks out, they have their little scene here and they get in his car right over here. And then that last scene is them together in the house. Now let's head to Highland Park and see something very memorable from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And it's not Ferris' house because we already went there. That's actually in California. I think it was in Long Beach if I remember right. And here's Highland Park. 
This also happens to be one of my favorite scenes of the whole movie too. And that's a great movie with a ton of great scenes. When they had the curtains open actually during the movie, that is where that Ferrari was. Yeah. The miles aren't coming off. Where Cameron's dad's 1961 Ferrari was parked and they decided to take it out for a joyride and everything. And then that was a car just driving behind me. You could see the reflection in that glass right there. That's where they filmed that scene. The miles aren't coming off, going in reverse. So at the end, when they're, they have it on the jack and they're doing it in reverse to try and take the miles off and it's not working, Cameron finally has that moment where he's just like, you know, he cares more about this car than he does me or anyone else and I gotta take a stand. Now, Alan Ruck said people are always concerned about like, did you really destroy that 61 Ferrari? Who do you love? Who do you love? You love a car. He said actually there were three of them and they weren't real Ferraris. Originally they were gonna use a Mercedes and then John Hughes saw the fake like a model of the 61 Ferrari in a car magazine. Decided he wanted that, so they actually used a Mustang body and put the, the outer shell of that Ferrari on there. And he said the car was constantly breaking down during filming. So when they did that scene where they just completely destroyed it and <laughs> it basically shot right through that glass and would have ended up down here. He said the whole crew actually cheered. They were so glad because that those cars were just such a pain. But yeah, that would have actually been filmed. Looks like they're opening it up. Somebody's in there. They know I'm out here looking around. But uh, yeah, I see the curtains moving. So that's where they would have filmed that scene. Kind of cool to see. Well, my friends, we're gonna call it a day. Thank you to the 30 or so odd people that came out to meet up with me today. And I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a few, even though this one was a little tricky to see, a few John Hughes movie locations, including the really iconic Ferris Bueller one right there. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great night and goodbye.